Hello, in this video we'll be looking at a question from the A-level paper 1, more specifically paper 1-2 from the year 2023. And um, This is the question we'll be looking at today and I'll be doing the solution out on the whiteboard, hopefully like uh, just like your teacher would if you were in school. If you are looking for another question from this paper, you should be able to find that in a playlist below the video. Okay, let's get to this question. In question three, we're going to be dealing with a quadratic expression and this one up here and they want us to express it like this. What they really are asking us to do is they want us to express uh, change this into this form using the uh, completing the square method. Now lots of students solve quadratic equations all the time using this method I'm going to show you. If you're one of them, this is probably going to be easy and you're probably not watching this. But a lot of people don't know how to use it. Uh, it's really useful. I, I, I think it's quite nice. It's, it's, it's quite pretty um, equation to do. Anyway, let me go ahead and try and solve this. Okay, so we want to uh, write this again, but make it look like this or complete the square. So how we complete the square, sorry, that should be a minus, minus 24x. And I'll put the p over here. Basically, I cheat. I put in a new number. I'm going to put something new in here to make this look more like a square. And if I put something new in, I better fix it over here and take it back out. And I get to put anything I want in. I can put a 2 here and a minus 2. A 8 and a minus 8. A million and a minus a million. Really anything I want. As long as it helps. Well, not as long. Anything I want I can put in. But only one number is going to help me complete this square. Uh, the next thing I would do to help me out here is just remind myself what a square looks like. X plus, uh, let's see, we have A, B's and C's here. So X plus P squared is the same as X squared plus 2 PX plus P squared. This goes back into this. So I'll bear this in mind. I'll just remember this, how to get from this back into something like this. So that's enough for us to do this. Uh, if, if you're quite good at it. But to, just to make it a little easier, let me get this rid of this four. Let me just take four out of everybody. Um, let's put a big bracket here. X squared minus six X. Again, I'm gonna put something cheat and put something here. Plus uh, P over four. And I'm gonna cheat, uh, fix my cheat here. Okay, so what number could go here to make this look like a square? So remember how a square works. We have some number here, and it's two times something, two times this number, or the square root of this number, times x. Two times something. So we already know what's here. Two times something. It must be two times three. Or sorry, two times minus three. So what must go here? Minus three squared, which is nine, uh, plus nine minus 3 squared and if I add a 9 here I better take it away over here. This guy right here now instead of x squared minus 6x plus 9 I can write x minus 3 squared and that's starting to look like what they wanted. Um, let's see there's still a 4 outside this and uh, yeah they don't want they, they wanted something outside so that's good but they don't want it to multiply the c so let's say, uh, my yeah, I, I shouldn't have put the bracket all the way over here. But still, anyway, the four, let's multiply the four back in, so, and we get plus p. And um, instead of minus nine, we would get minus 36. I hope, I hope that bit was clear. Sorry, I took four out just to make the numbers a little easier for me. And now I'm multiplying them back in. I multiplied this by four, I multiplied this, so yeah, let me, let me say it that way. Here's four, I multiplied this by four, right there. I multiplied this by four, and I've multiplied this by four. Okay, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the answer. They wanted A is four, a B was minus three, and C, they even said C should be in the terms of P. That's it, P minus 36 is C. Uh, but we're not quite finished. They, they have a part B to this question. They basically put this equals to zero and they ask us 
what what values for p yeah what values for p has no real roots so they say hence or otherwise uh, that means we're going to use this answer here to make this quite easy it's only you can also see there's only one mark for this question so it should be something that's quite short and quick to do but but you can also do otherwise uh, and a lot of students would look at this and go well the minus b formula no real roots the so um, what is it, b squared minus 4ac, that part, if that's less than zero, there's no real root. So you could go ahead and do it that way. But let's do it the way they intended, and we'll put this guy equal to zero. And what numbers for p makes this have no real roots? Let me start rearranging it here, and hopefully it'll become clear. Four minus uh, x, four multiplied by x minus three squared is equal, or sorry, yeah, is equal to 36 minus p. Let me write it like that. Um, let me divide both sides by four. Okay, so we have something, something squared on the left. Let me do another example over here. I'll do x squared is equal to a number. So if I put four here, that has answers. The answer is two and minus two, as we've seen in question two. If I put minus four here, ah, there's no real answers here. There is a, a complex answers, but there's no real answers to this question. So if this, if the right side here is a minus, there's no real roots. If this is a minus, there's no real roots. 36 minus P over four. If it's less than zero, there's no real roots. And that's what they asked us about. So multiply both sides by four, uh, just disappears. Uh, let's see, let's move the P over. We get 36 is less than P, or P is bigger than 36. Let me write that way, P is bigger than 36. And that's, uh, that's the answer to that question. Uh, let's see, hence or otherwise, find a set of values for P. So the set of values is P is bigger than 36. So P, um, any, any number bigger than 36. Okay, I hope that answered that question. If you have any follow-on, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer.